Opening up the UFC Vegas 98 fight card, we have prospect Clayton Carpenter taking on UFC newcomer Lucas Rocha. Clayton Carpenter is Rocha. Whatever. And I'm going to say Whoa, Rafa. whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Not whatever. What, what's funny is I'm going to say Hafa Garcia later, and he's a Rafa, not right. a Hafa. It's Hacha. So it is what it is. Clayton Carpenter undefeated in his career. He is coming off a successful UFC debut. Lucas Rocha. 17 and 1 in his career, Sorry, 5 Lucas. and 0. Now I'm forgetting which one to say because we said it. Sorry, Lucas. Hocha. Hacha. Hacha. Why is it ha and not ho? It's Hocha. Okay, I said that. We said Rocha. Okay. He's not a road. She's not a cockroach. A cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> 17 and 1 in his career, 5 and 0 in his last five. He is on a six fight win streak. We saw Clayton Carpenter in his UFC debut. He's a very, very slick grappler. He'll take wild chances. He will hunt for submissions. Super fast-paced guy. He's going to rush forward, immediately set that tone. He is always hunting for a finish, and even though he is only 7-0 as a professional, he has a lifetime, he's young, but his lifetime worth of international competition experience. He's been wrestling all over the world, competing all over the world in different combat sports, and he is coming off that dominant UFC debut where the grappling was an absolute showcase. Taking on... Lucas Hocha. Solid striker, it's great Rocha. volume. Whatever, man. <laughs> Solid striking, great volume, good body work. He stays busy. He pressures forward. No regard for what comes back his way. He's not afraid to get hit. Problem is, because he's not worried about what comes out of his way, lots of times it is a takedown that comes back his way. He does get taken down. He's got good enough BJJ to defend most things, decent scramble enough skills to stand back up. He is making his UFC debut after a successful contender series bid, and I'm going Clayton Carpenter. I'm going the prospect. He feels like the real deal. His grappling is very impressive. Racha leaves himself open to be taken down, and sometimes it's just that easy, right? This guy's good at takedowns. This guy gets taken down, and that's the direction we're going. When I did this breakdown on Sunday, I said Clayton Carpenter is minus 170, and that will not last long. And it didn't. He's back up to minus 205. Jakey Boy disagrees. Why don't you tell the people? <clears throat> Angelo, and I and I hate this for you, honestly, <laughs> um, because I know this is an important fight for you. Um, and I've tried to stress to the people, and they've heard me week after week, and they've seen it come to fruition week after week after week. And there's going to be a couple opportunities on this card for this to come through. And that is, quite simply, Angelo, you fucking never ever in your fucking life bet against Brazil. Okay. Mm. You know you never fuck with them. Don't ever Didn't fuck. Didn't Rodriguez be, just lose? If you want to be to a fucking Brazilian, are you stupid or something? Well, I, you know. And she won that fight. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, continue. She won that fight? Marina Rodriguez did not win that fight. Very clearly won that fight. Won the first round, won the third round very clearly. She was getting dragged to the ground and beat the fuck up. Uh, okay. She very clearly you... won that. That was another one of those Mike uh, Mike Bell fucking. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, you never you never bet against Brazil, okay? And I understand Clayton Carpenter has all the attributes to be a good fighter. He is a good fighter. I don't want to take anything from away from Clayton Carpenter because Angelo is right, right? He, he throws big power with the hands. He can mix in the wrestling. He's got decent takedowns, decent grappling, and that's why he is the favorite in this fight. The reason I like Lucas here, not only because he is a Brazilian, one of my Brazilian brothers, one of my hummus, hummus, I think it's just his man. It's just man. I, I apologize. And I, that actually added like a kind of a... Is that a word? It sounded like you Indian, said hummus. Uh, <laughs> no, it's hummim is, uh, means man in uh, Brazil. But um, not only do I like him because he is Brazilian, but he is one of those guys that just, he just goes about his business, right? He just goes about his business. You might take him down, right? If you watch his contender series fight, he's taken down, he's taken down, he's taken down. But he's always working to get back to his feet. He's always making the person work. Yeah, he might give up his back and he might get his back or whatever. But there's a reason why this guy is 17 and 1. You might take him down. You might get his back. But he just goes about his business. He doesn't panic. He doesn't make mistakes. He'll just get in a situation to eventually the round ends and then it starts back on his feet. 
or he gets out of those scrambles in his contender series fight. That gentleman was, I believe, twice the grappler, twice the grappler, or twice, I was going to say twice the grappler, twice the wrestler as Clayton Carper. And yeah, he was getting taken down left and right, but he was getting back to his feet. He started to win a few scrambles. He found that knee, a beautiful knee to find that knockout. I do think that Clayton Carper is probably going to win this first round. He's probably going to be looking good in this first round. He's going to have the pressure, the big shots, get the takedowns, get a takedown, the mat returns, all this stuff. But once that second round starts, once that third round starts, people are going to be saying, oh shit, oh no, because this Lucas guy is not going away, he doesn't go away, and he's not a big power puncher, he will stay in your face, boom, boom, throw the body shots, pop, 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 rip the bodies, and then he will start winning the scrambles, and once Clayton Carpenter is throwing those big shots, getting those big takedowns, doesn't get the finish in the first round, and that second round starts, and he takes that shot, and this guy Lucas spins around, and he starts winning the, scrap, wins the scrambles, and he's on top of this guy, or he gets this guy back, <laughs> blouses game over lucas wins this fight if he can just survive the first round which he has done 17 fucking times before he's gonna win this fight i'm taking lucas and the underdog in the opening fight my brazilian brother to get it done i'll be honest i don't have a bet yet because these odds are starting to widen um i'm, I'm waiting a little bit but i'm gonna have some action on lucas there's no doubt about that well what is interesting is um obviously they tightened off the rip, right? Minus 350 to down. He went farther down to like minus 150, 160, and then it started to balloon back up, and that's what it's doing. Okay. Um, Lucas is interesting, though, because he looks, oh, it's a line in Kugel. You are drinking beers. Dude, you're off the rails, man. You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. <laughs> I love, I love, I love <laughs> Life is good, man. You know, I, hey, man, listen. And listen, listen, I know that I missed some bets last week, but I'm not letting it affect me. Okay. Drowning when you dark. have, when you have, let, let me talk. When you have a few <laughs> missed bets, you can't let it, don't let it do nothing to you. You got to just. Do me a favor. Say Franks and Beans. Frank and Beans. <laughs> Franks and Beans. Anyway, um, you watch Lucas Hocha kind of get smoked, and then he pulls off these wins. Like, that 17 wins is, it's authentic. He won 17 he just, fights. Dude, I, I love his demeanor, man. He literally is one of those guys where, okay, you took me down. Be, I just, I'm just going to keep going about my business. Well, that's, and that's, that's crazy. He's basically losing every fight before he wins it. That's I don't what love makes that. no I sense. Don't love, I don't love that. But he definitely was losing the contender series, right? He's getting ragged on left and sure. right. But yeah. he literally does, and this is why I like Lucas, because... He is one of those guys that has that demeanor of like whatever happens happens, and I'm just gonna stay in my zone, stay I think in my it's lane. There's nothing behind the eyes. He can't even think that far ahead. Look at that picture. You tell me this guy's thinking through what's happening in a fight. Really buckling down, be like, you know what? If he does this, I'll do that. There's chess going on in there. This guy's playing chess. I'm not gonna take the disrespect to. My Brazilian brothers and sisters, okay? I know that you hate that country at your core <laughs> because you know eventually that country is going to steal me from you, right? And, that, and I understand, Angelo. You're scared. Sure. You're scared, right? Sure. Right? You're scared that I'm not going to be 10 minutes away. Instead, I'm going to be 20 hours away, right? But don't take the country... Don't take the hate of the country out on these fine people that have worked their asses off to get sure. to this point, right? But what to my point, Lucas is one of those guys that just kind of goes about his business. And when you match that up against the guy that's kind of like full throttle, 24-7 in your face, those, class, those styles kind of clash. And it's going to be, can Clayton get it done early? And if not, I think it's going to be trouble. Yeah, it could be. I mean, Clayton is a finisher, so what happens when he doesn't finish? That is always a big question. Will he slow down? Will he not? What's going to happen here? I am on the Clayton side. I am pretty comfortable with it. And I do like the $8,800 in DraftKings Fantasy because if he wins, he should score well. There should be some ragdolling and potentially some submitting involved in that. Do you like Lucas at the 7400 I mean, you think he's going to win and 7400 is dirt cheap. So We have uh, – I'm just going to – this is just from uh, – we have a Lucas right now on the screen. There's a Lucas, a plus 475. Don't know anything about him. About to fight for Contender Series. I'm so going to put some action on him. I, I, yeah. I feel like it's a sign. I'm going to put $25 on him to win 118. People are asking me in the chat. I have no idea. Don't tell me, but I see the Lucas connection here. 
and I'm going to ride the train. Sometimes you got to listen to the universe, Angelo. There you go. Guys, if you do want to unlock all the picks, the bets, and the tools, Jacob mentioned he's monitoring this line to get more value. Well, that's what the line movement tractor does. He's on the Lucas side. He's going to get better and better odds. So he's going to watch that line moving tracker when it looks like it's peaking. Then he'll place his bet, and you can do the same. Unlock all the picks, the bets, the tools, the artificial intelligence, and more. We want picks.com. Click becoming members. Freaking $10 a month, and that month includes UFC 308. We do have a comment here. It's not a super chat, but it's a comment. Oh, Robo my Cup. God. They're showing that Lucas guy. for the. I'm seeing him for the first time. One of the first things he said is, I'm a modern-day samurai. That guy's getting fucking smoked. Uh, Robocot said, Jacob, I need you to get us a companion live soon. It's not going to be this right weekend. Now. Yeah, we're live right now. Oh, yeah, it's we not... can't do it this weekend, can we? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Jacob and I are going to be And drinking... it's not going to be next weekend because I'm going to be in Vegas. Or UFC 308 because we're going to be Oh, my Cosmo. God. It's going to be a month away. <laughs> Canada. You got the Canada card. The the uh, oh, Amir al -Bazi card. Oh, yeah. Canada. Yeah. Our home no, no, no. in native land. Singing another country's national anthem is like... Treason? Bad, bad karma. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, so the next... Actually, your premium membership, if you came premium member today, here's the next few events, and here's why Jacob can't stream. This weekend, Jacob and I are going to Texas OU. It's a tradition at this point. We've not going five to the years, game. Not going to the game. We do a big watch party at a thing. It's a ton of fun. It's a tradition. We've done it five years. This will be the sixth year Jacob's been the five. Then the weekend after that, is that Jacob, confirmed? I feel like I've been all. Maybe you went to the first one. I assume not because you didn't live here yet. But maybe. you But did. I feel like that's when I flew in. Like I feel like it could be. Yeah, I came to be. visit a few times. We did the star the star tour. I mean, you might have. You might have. Um, I don't know. We'll have to look up pictures. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know if you went to the first too. one because I think the first one was my aunt and uncle, and then Tiffany didn't. We we're like, this is awesome. Anyway. Next weekend, Jacob is in Vegas at UFC Vegas 99. The weekend after that is UFC 308. Me, Jacob, and a few other people are going to the Cosm to watch that card. And then there's the Canada card. Amir Albazi versus Brandon Moreno. You got that card. Hey, I'm not drinking a fucking IPA. It's lining and cool. fucking summer shandy. IPAs is like, you might as well go out outside and blend up a bunch of fucking grass and drink it. I don't know how fuck Nobody enjoys IPAs. They're People disgusting. that drink IPAs, they drink it and they're like, oh, I'm drinking an IPA. And they fucking hate it. IPAs are fucking terrible. This is the last little bit, the last little bit of summer. A summer shanty line and Kugel. Those Grab so your good. fucking nuts. Line and Kugel. Summer shanties are so good. I know. I saw these. I was like, I haven't had these in fucking forever, so... Yeah, because you came over, you didn't even drink the summer beer that we make. Cause that's I never really drink popular. anymore, but I'm trying not to. Honestly, I'm just trading that's one vice for another. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, trying to uh, cut down on the fentanyl. <laughs> Somebody's going to believe that. I, how many comments do you think we get? Does he really? 